Welcome in. You're listening to the daily version of the Cornell Economics Report. I'm Al Corlin, and I appreciate you joining me. This program is being produced uh, exclusively for my friends at Kitco. It is Wednesday. Talking with Chris Berry right now. We're both kind of on our way from different parts of the country heading for the Chicago Resource Expo, which is going to be held Friday and Saturday in Chicago. But I want to take some time right now and chat with Chris a little bit about what's going on in the precious metals markets. You know, we had a, we had a little bit of a decline yesterday. Uh, today, it, gold and silver are both kind of treading water, for lack of better terms. The U.S. dollar is up just a little bit right now uh, on the index, uh, still under 75. However, I would maintain that we, there's just so much uncertainty right now in the very short term, and the very short term being defined as like, maybe <laughs> maybe for the next week or two um, that that you're going to see some treading water in terms of the uh, the uh, the precious metals markets but i think that with what's going on with the imf coming out that's the international monetary fund coming out and condemning the united states for irresponsible actions and dealing with their debt uh with that and other things you know I, there's just so much in my opinion, there's just so much uncertainty out there right now, but so much, so many bad things going on that I think that long term, we're going to see uh, we're going to see precious metals shoot up at an even higher rate than they are right now. Chris Berry, what do you think, buddy? Well, I think you've hit a lot of it on the head. I think, by the way, thanks for having me. Uh, but uh, one of the, I think, the immediate catalyst yesterday that really knocked the precious metals markets down, and also the base metal markets, was uh, Goldman Sachs came out with a forecast where they lowered their, uh, let's say, near-term forecast for gold and copper, uh, to name a couple, and I think that spooked the market a little bit, but um, in addition to that, I think, you know, you're absolutely right. There's a lot of uncertainty surrounding uh, budgetary haggling, for lack of a better phrase, um, um, out of Washington and, you know, what direction the country is really going to go from a budgetary perspective. If you're a small business uh, owner looking to hire somebody or if you're an investor, uh, without any clarity coming out of Washington, it makes it very, very difficult to make any sort of, um, you know, long-term decision. Yeah, no, I would agree 100%. What are your feelings, Chris, you know, in terms of, let's say, the midterm, uh, the mid to the long-term Precious metals. You like them? Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Where do you stand on that? Yeah, you know, I'm definitely bullish, and I'm bullish for a lot of the same reasons that I've been bullish for for quite a while, uh, namely being uh, what we're talking about, which is the, the inability of the United States and, and the U.S. dollar, by extension, to get its fiscal house in order. Uh, you know, as the reserve currency, that is a, a privilege not to be taken lightly, and clearly um, our our Solons in Washington, if you will, have lost control. Um, you know, there's a gentleman out of uh, Boston University by the name of Lawrence Kotlikoff, and he's a professor who's done quite a bit of writing on our long-term deficits. Uh, and, you know, we're all familiar with the $14 trillion number because that's the, the number that gets put in the mainstream press. But Professor Kotlikoff has a number of $202 trillion in terms of a long-term fiscal gap. Now, that includes um, unfunded liabilities or entitlements, if you will, like Social Security and Medicare. But if you look at it that way, with our politicians trying to cut, uh, you know, $39 billion here and there, I mean, it's a drop in the bucket in the grand <laughs> scheme of things. Yeah, it, it, it really is. I mean, you, you're just adding, you're pouring more gasoline on the fire that, that you know, that, that I'm kind of standing in the middle of, and that just says that precious metals are going to go higher and higher and higher. For all you folks listening out there, those of you who are going to be attending the uh, the Chicago Resource X, please do look us up. Chris and I will be there along with a whole bunch of other people. Love to say hi to you. Can be back with you tomorrow. 